Hi, I'm Amy Johnson. I'm an intern at VEX this summer. I'm here with Adam Kastner and David Hughes, field agronomist for Missouri. And we're here on the Missouri River bottoms near Carrollton, Missouri, and we're doing a nitrogen application study with PFR. Adam, tell me a little bit why this is important to you. Hi, Amy. This is important to us here on our farm because the Missouri River is about a quarter mile behind where we're standing here, or I guess in front of us here. Um, so we, we find a lot of of issues with the river with the water table and, and seep water stuff so with this what we're practicing out here is our, our nitrogen timing which gives us different different timings of our nitrogen placement um, and it it allows us to let mother nature play her hand uh, and let us respond with our nitrogen in season so what we're doing out here is playing with some you know our old system that we used to run years ago with all our pre-plant anhydrous down first and then we've got some dry starters in here uh, down pre-plant and then we've incorporated our side dressing application in here so we got got three different methods of, of fertilizer of our nitrogen placement out here that we're comparing. So what we're doing with this study is we are looking at nitrogen timing and placement and how to optimize that system on the Missouri River bottom. Like uh, Adam mentioned a lot of times mother nature plays the hand down here and we have to respond. Beck's practical farm research has shown that the, uh, the most proven practice to date has been uh, 30 pounds of nitrogen down pre-plant with 160 uh, down side dress um, before the V3 growth stage. And if you think about that, that's pretty much the full 190 getting on before that uh, corn plant is at that V3 growth stage. So it is a side dress operation, but a lot of that nitrogen's front loaded. And in Missouri, we've got to do that a lot of times because especially down here in the bottoms with Mother Nature, we don't always get that opportunity to come back and side dress at a later date. We don't want too little amount of nitrogen on the front end, not able to carry us through the um, primary nitrogen uptake period of the corn. So what we did here is we blocked this study to look at two things. The first thing we're looking at is, is looking at a pre-plant, full pre-plant nitrogen system versus a pre-plant and side dress system. So both, uh, all treatments here got 200 pounds of nitrogen as anhydrous ammonia, but in one, it's all 200 up front. The other, uh, it's 100 pounds down uh, before planting as anhydrous, and then 100 pounds uh, side dress. Now, what's the side dress rig you use? Uh, we run a 16-row Coon Gladiator with a, a Montag uh, cart mounted on it, and we're running Strip tilling, I think here we strip tilled seven to eight inches deep uh, where the anhydrous went. It was applied at the bottom of that trench, and then the, the dry fertilizer was placed about five to six inches. Right, and that's your strip till machine. What about your side dress applicator? Where do you have? Our, our side dress applicator is a, is a, a Skaven uh, knife unit. Uh, we have a hydraulic pump on it this year that allows us to adjust the rate. So that, that kind of come into play here in this, this as well. We always before just put on 50 pounds uh, you know, with our side dress application this year, we're able to go up to where we put on over 100 pounds in some places. So that that even you know plays in here. It allows us to, to respond even more with with we had the early wet spring, and it allowed us to to up some of those nitrogen rates where need be. So that that come into play here where we needed to go up to the 100 pounds. Very good uh, to bring the whole plot to 200 pounds total nitrogen. So what we're doing is we're trying to adapt the nitrogen system to two things: one, the environment we have down here in the river bottom and to the equipment system that this producer has. So like uh, Adam mentioned, they have a strip-till machine and they do a lot of phosphorus fertilizer uh, placement using that strip-till machine. Most of these bottoms down here don't require a lot of potassium unless you get into areas where there was a lot of sand deposition and very low potassium levels. This field here did not call for potassium. So we strip-tilled the entire plot with 1150-2-0 using that Montag cart and Gideon strip-till. But then on one block of this nitrogen study, we actually put ammonium sulfate and super U to a tune of 50 pounds of nitrogen to the acre and strip tilled that with the cart pre-plant. And then on this side uh, uh, of the plot, we did not add that pre-plant nitrogen and just had the phosphorus. So we've kind of got a couple different studies going on in one, in one blocked uh, randomized design. On this block over here, we had strip till pre-plant ammonium sulfate and super U to get us 50 pounds of nitrogen up front to go with our anhydrous. And then on this side over here, we did not have that. And then on each of these blocks, then we're comparing a full pre-plant program 
to a program that we then add side dress to uh, to get to the 200 pound rate. So we've already put the drone up. Uh, Adam's put the drone up a couple times. We've gotten some very good pictures early on. There was a very distinct difference, wouldn't you say, yeah. where we had the strip till sulfur and uh, ammonium sulfate and super U versus yeah. where we didn't. For sure, when we when we were out here adding the side dress application to this to this test, there was you couldn't we didn't need the flags out here to tell where the where the break was or where that pre-plant AMS was. It was taller, didn't have the, the leaf striping in between the leaf margins showing the, the deficient sulfur deficiency. Uh, and what well, we side dressed, what was that, two weeks ago? Maybe? Yes. Yep. Two weeks ago and had the drone up again last night checking things out and, and you could see exactly where we had, had side dressed over here on to our right where there was no, or where we just had the, didn't have the AMS down pre-plant. Um, so we're getting the, the visual response. It'd be interesting to see that translates to our yield response. Correct. So we'll, we'll keep you posted. Uh, thanks, Adam and Kasner Farms, for supporting the PFR Partners Program and doing this nitrogen study. And we'll keep you posted on yield data as this study develops. Thank you.